All right. I thought I showed it off. Okay. So we're going to start with a pair of Nikes. Uh, Nike Air Force Ones. Classic sneaker. But this one has a little twist on it. It is modeled after the Nike Air Moab, which was like one of Nike's back in the day first all condition gear shoes. It was meant for like hiking and stuff. And so this is the box. It's actually kind of really beat up. It just got beat up after a while. What are you going to do? And this is the shoe. Ba -doom. It like is the colors of the Moab shoe, the original one. Uh, you can look it up easily. But it's got this like booty inside. You know, it, that, that's what the original shoe had. So the this one pays tribute to it. The real dope. Leather's really sick. Um, it's a real comfortable shoe. And uh, this is in the pile of one. All these are in the pile of ones to sell, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to be posting all these on like eBay and shit. But I don't know. I bought this one online because uh, the colors are obviously fucking sick. It's kind of more of a fall time shoe, you know, hard to pull off in the summer. But still dope nonetheless. There's the inside. There's like the, t this, the lining all the way down. See? It's like no tongue and shit. It is an Air Force One, it's a classic Air Force One, but here's what they look like together. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Still in really nice condition, so I mean somebody's gonna get a nice scoop off of these. They might be sold out. They were kinda limited. But um I don't know, I just don't wear them anymore, so I'm getting rid of them. But yeah, it's definitely one of my more beat up boxes. Yeah, the spackles and shit. Oh, I need to take a picture. We'll put we'll put the chat in the uh picture. Smile. So the Nike Air Force One Moab, that was that. Next we have, um, when I first started collecting sneakers, I was big into like Jordan retros, which is like what everyone was kind of big into, you know, but, um, I think it's like stunting in my Air Force Ones. <laughs> But yeah, it's a song. Is it a song? Hold on, I don't know. Oh, is it a song? I don't know. Let's check it out. Maybe. Could be. Could be by a Nelly guy. Do I have two Air Force Ones in this one? No, I was going to say, I thought I had two Air Force Ones in this one. But, uh, hell yeah, it's a song. This shit used to be my dream. The Air Force Moabs, that's why I got them. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, these be, it's stomping. But, um, 
So I used to be big into retro Jordans, and uh, kind of still am, but I'm only a fan of some of them. But back in the day, I used to fucking try to buy every single one I can. So these are the, and the retro Jordans are ones that they remade after the originals that he played in throughout his career. And every season you'd have a new one from like the one, two, three, you know, so on and so forth. And so these are the Air Jordan 12s. Uh, they named them the playoffs because they were the color scheme he wore in the playoffs that year. And this is the box. 12. Jordan. Whoops. Jumpman. Jumpman, 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 Jumpman. the fuck I just knocked over. Oh, I think it was a pen. But anyways, Air Jordan 12s. Blambo. The playoffs. Nike Air Jordan 12 playoffs. There you go. That's the style of shoe right here. You know, comes in different colorways. But... I like these ones the best. Black black and white, classic, you know, can't go wrong. Jump man on the tongue. Red jump man on the tongue. You got your plastic metal looking laces right here. You got two three on the tongue. Two three. You know. Nice, nice leather. You got the Jordan, you got a fat pull tab on the back. 23. Here's the bottom. Bottom's really cool. You got a cool graphite plate here. But yeah. Really big shoe. Like, kind of clunky shoe. And like, I don't know. Like I said, I'm selling them. I don't wear them that much. I have other Jordans that I wear way more. So, I'm just kind of, you know, getting tired of them. They're taking up dust. And so I figured somebody else would get a better use out of them. But here's what they look like together. Really cool shoe to be honest with you, but you know, they've had their use. Time to move on to somebody that will use them more. Uh, how much am I selling them for? Well, I'm probably gonna look at like, uh, the market price on like eBay I'll look up at the average like used pairs going for and then I'll usually try to go like maybe five dollars below that but I mean a lot of these I can get like a good amount of money for there's always a buyer out there but I, I don't try to push my limit because I'll take what I can get you know I, I've worn them so they've had their use and so uh, oh I forgot to take a picture I've worn them, I've worn them, so they got their use, so, like, whatever money I get, I kind of don't complain about. Smile on chat. Okay, so that was the Air Jordan 12 um, Playoff edition Black and white color scheme How many official Jordans do you have? Um Twelve, thirteen. Well, there's only one through twenty-three are the official retros. I only have like I have the twos, threes, two pairs of the fours, fives, sixes, sevens. Don't have eights. I have nines. I have, I had ten. Sold them. Have two pairs of 11s. 
the pair of 12s you just saw. Do not have a pair of 13s. Had a pair of 14s, sold them. Never had 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I had a pair of 20s, sold them. And that's it. That's all I've ever had. Jordans. So officially, right now, currently, I have a pair of 3s, a pair of 2s. Two pairs of fours, a pair of fives, sixes, sevens, two pairs of elevens and twelves. So like fourteen ish. But yeah, anyways, so next pair I have is a pair of Nikes. I know everything's been a Nike or Jordan so far, but I swear I have more. Um this is pair number three. These are a pair called the Nike Odysseys. I honestly just picked these up because I know they're I had like an old school runner feel to them. And uh I saw them on sale on a website that was like buy one get one half off so I fucking said I'll buy it. Here's the box. These are the new like Nike sportswear boxes. Um, and they might have changed. I haven't bought a pair in a while. But I love, 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 love the color scheme on these. It's like got an infrared color scheme but yeah I bought them for the old school retro feel. Hey? I type in hey I don't get it. But yeah love them for the old school retro feel. Boom. Very cool looking shoe. I honestly really like these, but I don't know. I figured I could try to sell them. And if not, I won't be mad at it. But love the color. Love the retro runner look. The infrared is so cool to me. Love this infrared color. Yeah, there's the tongue. There's down the shoe. The bottom. Really, really cool looking shoe. Got a lot of suede right here. A lot of suede overlays. Really, really like it. Here is both of them together. Cool pair of runners. Once again, I just don't wear them that often. So it's like... I'd rather somebody who is actually going to wear them, wear them, you know? And then I make a little bit of money. <laughs> Even though I bought them, and I'm probably going to take a hit on them. You know, when I say that, I mean that I probably paid maybe, let's say like 75 bucks for them. I'm probably only going to sell them for like 50 you know? Let's get a picture. Smile and chat. Cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, Grash Bowl, those are some really big shoes. Well, you know what they say, brother man. Big shoes, but you know. But welcome, welcome, brother. Okay, so last pair we just saw were a pair of Nike Odysseys, retros. Um, and when I say retro, it just means they remade the original. That's kind of that's what retro means. Uh, so that uh, Nike Odyssey came out in I don't know, like eighty something as a runner. Oh, it's um, sorry, I totally forgot that I was in game. I totally forgot I was in game. Compensating maybe? Well, I can't really be compensating. I didn't like choose my foot size. Compensating would be like buying a Lambo because you have the option to buy a Lambo because you want to feel bigger by yourself. I can't choose my foot size, so I'm not really compensating. Like it is what it is. You got a big foot. You got you know. Anyways, moving along. Next pair, Nike SB Dunks. It's uh, their skateboarding line. They come out with a pair of uh, shoes. They are modeled after the Nike Dunk, which is a basketball sneaker originally, and they made it uh, skateboarding friendly. This is what the box looks like. Boom, boom. And this is actually going to be cool for all the gamers out there. This is why I bought them. These are the Nike Dunk Mids Ryu's. Hatouken. 
Bazinga. Really, 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 really cool shoe. I'll show you the best part. Really cool, like, uh, suede and canvas outlays here. Really cool here with the frayed, like, uh, it's got frayed stuff here. So it kind of makes it look like Ryu's clothes. It looks like it's modeled after Ryu. So sick, so sick. And you want to see the best part? Look inside. Gaze upon. Dun, dun, dun. Ryu on the footrest there. That's pretty sick, right? Fucking sick. That's so fucking dope to me. But that's like a huge part of why I, why I want these shoes. These are in the to sell pile, and I'm actually kind of like, as I'm holding them, showing them off, I'm really debating on like actually selling these. These are fucking sick shoes. These might get put, these might get put somewhere else and then not to sell pile. Okay, but these are what they look like together. Dirty on the bottom, I'll clean that. And uh, there are the Ryu's, if you could see them. Yeah, sorry. I can't get a good angle with both of them in my hands. I'll show you again. Because it's kind of fucking sick. There you go. I guess I could hold it like this. There you go, that's a little bit better actually. There you go, that's way better. Hadouken! But, let's take a picture. Smile and chat! Cool. Right? These are sick, dude. Oh, the Akumas were sick, dude. They were sold out. Oh, I look for them on eBay all the time, dude, but I can't find them at a good price. But those are sick. Uh, oh, they were sold out. And then they had the chun Lees were sold out, too. I don't really like the chun Lees. Okay, so, um, next pair, like I said, I... <laughs> All those were like Nikes and Jordans, and I, I told you guys that I didn't have all Nikes and Jordans, but those are just, you know, I just happen to have a bunch. But, um, so these next, those last ones were the Nike SB Dunk Mids Ryus. These ones are, um, shoes from a clothing brand called The Hundreds, which probably you guys probably heard of. Um, if not, look them up. They're a cool clothing brand. I have a couple of their t shirts. Um, um, stickers and you know a hat yeah like a kuma like um yeah here I'll go hold on before we move along Yeah, just look up um, look up Nike SB Street Fighters. But um, anyways, so these are from a clothing company called The Hundreds. Uh, I bought them because, like I said, I was kind of really digging their clothing at the time. I still am. And uh, I was like, hmm, let me buy some sneakers. These look cool. And I was going through, like, colorful sneaker phase. And uh, these are the box. These are called the Hoyas. This is the box from The Hundreds. Hundreds cool looking box it's a really cool looking shoe too very comfortable but it's just like a little too colorful for me nowadays and these were called the cotton candy hoyas as you will see in a second blood out really cool shoe like i said really colorful though cotton candy here on the bottom really sick cotton candy laces really sick uh it's got the, like that inner booty here so like there's no real tongue it's like kind of one sneaker all the way through with like overlays here on the sides. Uh, really cool sneaker, like I said, the hundredth on the back there. The atom bomb in there. You know, pull tab hair. Sick cotton candy laces. Cotton candy color. 
they're just made for like comfort these shoes they're not made for any sports activities they're made by a clothing brand so it's like you know they're not trying to make the next fucking running shoe but they're a really sick shoe really cool definitely selling them though they're a little too colorful for me now this is what they look like together cool suede like it's one of those like uh rough suede it's not like that soft suede uh, like nubuck material type deal that's what they look like together real sick like if you're in you know i was in the rock and i'm on like the summertime you know no socks no fucking just throwing them on no care in the world but i've grown up take a picture smile and chat Go. Okay, now this next pair is a vintage classic pair that I should be able to get a decent, decent amount of money for. This company is no longer in existence. The original company is no longer in existence. The name is still out there, just strictly as a name. The original company is no longer in existence. They don't make these shoes anymore. They're very popular, very sought after. And your boy got a pair. These are a pair, and if you're older, you remember them. These are a pair of British Knight King Highs. Vintage, back in the day shit. Look at the box. The box is fucking torn up, dude. So classic and vintage that each sneaker. Stays wrapped in motherfucking plastic. I'm older and I don't remember. That's because you must have, I don't know. Very classic sneaker in the world of sneakers. The British Knight. The King High. Boom. BK. Huge BK symbols. Branding everywhere. BK. BK. British Knights. British Knights. Boom. Vintage. These shoes are over like 20 years old. Probably like older than that. Holy shit. Definitely before 2000. Way before 2000. British Knights. British Knights in the back. BK. BK in the tongue. BK in the tongue. In the world of sneakers, these are classics. They should go for a good amount of money. So they might not look like much, but in the world of sneakers, these are very sought after. Anything that isn't in production anymore... I mean, that kind of goes with any hobby. Anything that like isn't in production anymore is well sought after. Boom. BK. British Knights. I mean, they don't really have to stay wrapped in plastic anymore. I guess I could throw this shit out. Here's what they look like together. Boom. Vintage high top sneaker. Very classic. Very sought after. Very sought after. Let me take a picture. You guys smile and chat. Go. I guess we're going to put the plastic back on.
<laughs> my god, this box is falling apart. Oh, she loves it. I know, I do, I do, I do. Because it's like a, the high top, the vintage high top is like the big man in basketball. Like, just is like the quintessential shoe for a big man. And like, just, I'm a big man, you know, so. I love them. Love those big bulky shoes, you know. Okay, now we're moving on to the Adidas. Ooh, this is a good pair. This is a good pair. I, I bought this pair. Because I just wanted a part of history. Now these, once again, these are the retro versions, which means they re they just remade a model, uh, an older model, and um, these are the Adidas Micro Pacers, the OG version. Like me, there's the box. Three stripes. So now the Micro Pacers came out in like 1987-ish. I don't know. You can look them up. You could try to prove me wrong. But um, they were supposed to be like a very futuristic shoe. They made them look, they built them to like look very futuristic. Um, they are a runner. They were one of Adidas's runners. And um, the reason they built them to look futuristic was because the Adidas Micro Pacer was the first ever shoe to have a computer chip in a device on the shoe 1987 mind fucking blown and here they are boom very difficult to accept as a shoe i understand very difficult to accept as a shoe this is what they looked like this is what they're re-released as here's this here's the shoe cover there's the fucking odometer you know programming running there it is there's the chip right there you know in 1987 that's a huge fucking deal whenever they came out that's huge and this is like this this is like the cover this is goes over the laces Let's see it just goes over the laces so like this is what it's like without it looks like a cool shoe right cool micro pacer and then this is where the computer part is in boom right over the laces velcros down then you can track how many ships you got how many steps you got all that jazz. First shoe to ever, 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 ever incorporate a little microprocessor in it. 1987-ish. Look it up. I think I think that's the year it was released. There's the inside. Why do I have so many shoes? I don't know. It was just like one of my hobbies that I, that I used to have for years. Going on years now. And, you know, I just collect shoes. Everywhere I used to go, I would go to the shoe store and collect shoes. You know, I'd travel across the states. Bada bing, bada boom. G, G Ponks, what's up, brother? Yeah, this is for my 100 follower shoes showing. 10 shoes. We are on number one, two. We're on number six. We're on number six. But yeah, these are really sick shoes. I'm, uh, these were in this to sell pile just because, I don't know, I can't really wear them anymore. And somebody else will probably get way better use out of them. But the the other one does not have uh, a micro pacer on it. But there they are together. This one just has like a little pocket. Nope, this one. This just has a little pocket. You put your stash in there, man. No grown, you know what I'm talking about, brother. But that's what they look like together. Super cool shoe, super futuristic back in like 1987. These are the retro versions once again. That's what they look like. Really, really sick. Really, really good job, Adidas. Time to take a picture, smile, and chat. Getting the bad lighting here. There we go. Kill. Super European. 
Okay, so these next ones, those are the uh, Adidas Micro Pacers retro version. Uh, those came out in like 1987. Hold on, you didn't prove me wrong, so I'm assuming I was right. Let me look that up. Release year. Really? Mother effer, dude. There's not just a simple answer here? I mean, uh, I th I'm almost positive it's 1987. Oh, 1984. 1984, sorry. So I was a little off. Anyways, more Adidas. Boom. These ones are called the Adidas Tubulars. You've actually probably seen these in stores. Um, tubulars, there's a the box. These were a new model, literally released like maybe two years ago by Adidas. And these were the New Year's editions. Um, I thought they were a really cool shoe when I first bought them. I was like, wow, these are really sick, like really cool looking. It's like a new shoe by Adidas. I want to buy it. I want to be the first to get it. And uh, they kind of, they're, they're cool. They're just like weird. I don't know. You'll see. And this is what they look like. Cute. Um... These are like, um, it's like an, uh, sort of like a, it's like that inner booty material that you guys love so much. It's like a neoprene material, but it's all one material. There's no real leather or anything. That's what kind of makes it weird about it. And, um, they have these cool tabs here and these laces. I, I don't know. Looking back on it, it was kind of a bad purchase, but the reason they call it the tube, the, re the reason they call it tubulars is because of the bottom here. Yeah, the sole is like supposed to be a tube, like an inner tube. And like, I thought it was a really cool idea when I first bought them, but like, walking on them, like, really is like, it's not that comfortable. It's really not that comfortable. <laughs> when do you get to play games? Oh, I play games, son. Don't you worry, brother. I will play games, but no, I, um, I don't know. I get time to play games on the top of collecting shoes. I haven't been collecting shoes in a while. I've been slowing down, so I got more time in my hands. But yeah, no, 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 no. You could say it. You can criticize them. I know these were a bad purchase. I'm not gonna lie. Hence the reason I'm selling them. I mean, like they're cool. They serve their purpose. They look cool. They look new. I just wanted to buy a new shoe from Adidas. Like they, literally, these were a new model. Like all together, a new model. Like these have never been released before until two years ago. So I was like, fuck it. I gotta get them. But bad purchase. Hey, you know, you got to make some. But these are what they look like together. Kind of like cool aesthetically, but functionality-wise, they kind of sucked. Driving with them was the worst. Oh, I got to take a picture. I got to take a picture. Smile and chat. Um. Hey, Alersic, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I got back from my cruise a couple weeks ago. Or like a week ago. Uh, I've never been a shoe person. But Nintendo was partnering with Vans and I'm going to buy the hell out of those. Yeah, I've actually seen... Um, Vans does a lot of collabos with like, um, they'll do it with like Simpsons characters. They'll put Simpsons on. Um, I, I've seen Super Mario Converse before. I've seen those. Those are pretty cool. Vans does a lot of collabos with uh, those things. But yeah, let me get on to the next pair. Okay, so, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so the last pair was the Adidas Tubulars, not, eh, not one of my favorite pairs, as you can tell. These I bought uh, because I was really into like a Euro Runner low top, like vintage look for like a year. 
so I went hard on those shoes. And so I got this vintage pair of SL Vins, 1972s, retro version, obviously. But uh, Adidas had one of these, had a shoe, a runner out, you know, 1972. Uh, they released this Vin runner, and uh, it was like, it's like super low top, super minimalistic. And it just like screamed European, and I was like, fuck yeah, I need this shoe. And the colors were sick, so I bought it. And now I'm kind of like, ew, but the colors are really cool, so take it for the colors. Blood out. There they are, right there. See, like super minimalistic, super low top, really like Euro looking. Really old school runner. You got the suede, you got like a uh, windbreaker material here, like a nylon material. You got your three stripes, you got your hard ass sole, old school, like fucking hard rubber here. Suede, suede. You know, there's the tongue on the inside. A little pebble leather. There's the inside, there's the vintage logo, vintage mark on the inside. There's the bottom. Vintage sole. You know, you can kind of wear them with no socks. It's one of these shoes you can wear with no socks and you won't feel like you're, you know, wearing anything. The laces are really long. For some reason, old school shoes had, like, really long laces. So when you tie them up, you have, like, huge bunny ears. But, I mean, they're really cool. They're really cool for a while. Uh, they're Nug, they were, honestly, they were comfy as fuck. But then, like, standing for a long time. Oops, sorry. Standing for a long time, you would, like... You would notice it you'd be like damn there's no like real cushioning you know it's just like it's a retro version of an old ass shoe from the 70s like we've evolved since then you know it's like some other shoes have way more comfier comfier bottoms but i mean they're really cool looking i really like them but you know there's not my style anymore the colors really pop to me too you know the red blue yellow that's fucking sick to me but you know i'd rather put those on like a pair of like i don't know like a new balances or like air maxes you know so, I mean, these are really cool, though. I really like them. And these are them together. Really cool looking shoe. Really like them. And, uh, yeah. Gotta take a picture. Smile for chat. Oh, sorry. I don't have my alerts up. Um, but I see that follow. Hello, sick. What's up, brother? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. You are now an OG for life. Till you unfollow, then you're not an OG. But um, hold on. Let me add my alerts. Sorry about that. Your alert didn't pop up that you followed, but I see it. Uh, hold on. Give me a second here, guys. Let me add my alerts here so I can see if people follow and or donate. Hint, hint. Mm, just kidding. Oh, bio ego. Oh, that's three days ago. Um, one second, one second, one second. Copy. Come true. And, and I, I wonder, wonder if you know oh, what it means. means. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought I've, I thought you followed, but hey, it's whatever, brother. But yeah, so these are them again, and I'm gonna take a picture. So smile and chat. Yo. All right, last pair of the 10 shoes. This pair is actually really cool. Um, these are a pair of Sacconis. Um, Sacconi has like a lifestyle retro brand, um, like a division of their brand, because they're a real big like running shoe, like actual running shoe. Um, they always have been, but this is like a retro lifestyle, uh, department of their brand. And, um, 
this comes from a store in Boston, Massachusetts called Bodega. And it's a very, very popular store in like the sneaker world. Uh, so you can look it up. It's actually a hidden like store. Like the front for the store is like a closed down convenient shop and like you need to know about the store to enter it you enter through like a snapple machine it's like really cool look the shit up bodega in boston but anyways um they're so highly known that um sneaker companies come to them and like do collabos so like sacconi produced one of their retro models the shadow the grid 9000s and the shadow 5000s um they did a collaboration with Bodega, so these are called like the Bodega Sacconi Grid 9000s. Anyways, they're basically like limited edition, really cool shoe, very sought after. And I was in Boston playing a roller hockey tournament, and the shoe was released like that weekend, and I was there like Sunday. And we went to the store, and they had some left, which is like really unheard of. Uh, because they're like a very limited edition brand um, and shoe because it's a collaboration. Any collaboration is like huge. And like I was like, dude, do you have any of your Sacconis left? Like I really love a pair. And he was like, dude, I got two pairs left, size 13. And I was like, fuck yeah, give me two pairs. So I bought two pairs, came home, didn't like one of them, sold it for way more than I bought it. And then I kept this pair right here. And when they do collaborations, they kind of go like way out of the ordinary and like kind of wild. And you'll see what I'm saying. These are the Grid 9000 Bodegas. Really, really sick shoe. Wha bam Really, really cool design. Like these polka dots, these blue suede's, these colors in the back. This your infamous booty in your inner booty here. But look at the tongue. The tongue is like sick. The tongue like wraps around your foot here. You see, it's like one piece, and then it's not on this side. Really sick. Really sick shoe. Really cool looking shoe. There's a Sacconi running wing on the inside. Yeah, really sick looking shoe. Love the material, love the colors, like, but it's just a little too, like, you know, colorful and, like, polka dotty. I guess you would call it loud. The kids nowadays would call it loud. Am I like, I could say that, right? But yeah, just a little too, like, you know, loud for me. It was cool when I first came to it. But, you know, here's the bottom. A little dirty. But really, really, really sick shoe. And uh, here are both of them together. Really cool shoe, really cool shoe. On the back side, really, 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 really cool shoe. Let me take a picture, smile and chant. Cool, last shoe. Hey.